Hello friends, welcome back to Endo Tales from Life. This is our 20th Endo Tale. So I wanted to do something special and I come up with this video. I believe you will find it useful and you will all like it. A workman is known by his tools. In aeronautic obturation, the tool that can make a difference is the obturation pen. The ancient techniques used in obturation are not good enough anymore because they are crude, they are not safe, they are not predictable and they are not consistent. They can even affect the quality of the endodontic treatment and post endodontic restoration. Improper sharing of GP can be a huge cause of coronal leakage. On the contrary, a well shared obturation can help in achieving a good coronal seal and further long term positive treatment outcome. So, obturation devices are basically divided into two. Number one is the down pack unit, which is the heat source, which is also colloquially called as the obturation pin. And number two is the backfill unit, which is the device that delivers the injectable gutta percha. They are also called as obturation gun. So, these two are either sold separately or there are some manufacturers who sell them as a unit which has both the down pack and the backfill together. So, this obturation device was basically designed with both a heat source and an obturation gun. It was for the thermoplastic obturation technique where a sealer is coated and master cone placed following which the master cone is sheared almost till the middle or the apical third leaving behind only 5 to 6 millimeter of apical GP which is also nicely vertically compacted with the help of hand pluggers so the down pack unit basically helps in achieving this where the GP is shared till the middle and apical third following which a plugger is used for condensing and then the backfill unit or the obturation gun injects GP into the remaining space. This is the core concept of thermoplastic technique and that is why we have two different types of devices. But now with the advent of the bioceramic obturation technique which, has, which we have discussed uh, um, in detail in one of our earlier video. So the bioceramic technique is not only gaining more and more literature support but it's also a much simpler technique because it completely eliminates the need for one type of obturation gadget called the backfill or the obturation gun. Yes, since it is mainly a single cone based hydraulic obturation technique, all we need is only the obturation pin and not the gun. That is the biggest advantage of using the, th the bioceramic technique again. So that is why we are only going to talk about obturation pin in this video which is more than sufficient to have as an armamentarium for obturation. If you are following the bioceramic technique, the other advantage is among the pluggers used, these thin pluggers that are fitted to the obturation pin is used mainly for thermoplastic compaction or the down pack. Whereas for the single cone technique, the biggest plugger is good enough, they are also more durable. A good thing to have along with your obturation pin is a set of hand pluggers and again with single cone, uh, a medium and large size plugger is more than sufficient. We will be seeing some, seeing some demonstration in the upcoming videos. Again, the brand of this really doesn't matter. So following sharing GP with the obturation pen, you should never use the tip of the obturation pen to condense. Instead, use these hand pluggers so that the GP is nicely condensed at the orifice level or slightly below the orifice level for a better coronal seal and the floor of the pulp chamber is completely available for bonding. So here comes the question for our endo tail or the topic of this video which is which obturation pen should you buy and 
how do we use it so let me disclaim that i do not have any conflict of interest towards the product shown here this is not supported by any company and is an unbiased comparison of uh, uh, most of the products available in the indian market so when i when we talk about obturation devices we cannot exclude cybron endo because they have been ruling the obturation industry for a very long time so the touch and heat is a very famous product and even now a lot of clinicians are using it successfully and a slightly uh, improvised version of the touch and heat is the system b unit so these devices also have a lot of obturation pluggers heat source pluggers but uh, since we do a thermoplastic technique i mean we are not going to do a thermoplastic technique can even choose the largest plugger and both the system b and the touch and heat have a similar hand piece where the vice is turned left or anti clockwise to fit the plugger and then it is turned clockwise to secure it and this hand piece the device can be turned on with the help of the switch and the hand piece is activated just by pressing or touching this metal spring which activates the tip and the device is ready to use the only bad news about touch and heat is uh, the kawaker which has taken over cybron endo right now has left the indian market but kawaker has promised a service of till of 7 years from now for all the existing users so buying a new touch and heat in india may not be possible but existing users will definitely have the support and service which will be continued the next device that we need to talk about is the gutta smart from densply and this is a device which has both backfill and the down pack in one so we are only going to talk about the down pack unit which is on the left here so this is the hand piece this is connected to the main device through bluetooth the hand piece is cordless it can be detached from the main unit and it can be turned on by long pressing the power button and you can see a silicon switch the black color silicon switch so this is a 360 degree switch so that i can press it holding my hand piece at any angle and it still activates the tip and the temperature can be varied from 90 degrees 90 degrees to 400 degrees which is a very high range though our usage will be around 150 to 200 it has a very high range because this also has a backfill unit along with it so this is also for thermoplastic obturation so this comes along with three tips and as i mentioned earlier we'll be using only the largest plugger for bioceramic technique and the smaller ones will be used only by people who do thermoplastic obturation and you can very well see the blue one which is the biggest one that i use and that's why you can see it getting deformed slightly and the advantage of this system is that they also have the backfill unit which comes with gp cartridges which can be loaded and the backfill unit can be used also to inject gutta percha so this is a hybrid uh, device where you can do both single cone techniques and also you can do warm vertical if needed the next device that we are going to talk about is the fast pack from 18th oricam and this device is available as a separate down pack unit and if needed you can buy as the backfill which is optional so this device is also cordless it can be turned on and you can see the temperature range starting from 90 degrees and the maximum temperature is 250 degrees celsius here and similar to the gutta smart this also has a 360 degree switch meaning you can hold the hand piece in any angle and work ergonomically and still activate the tip so the cost difference is huge between uh, the, the densplice gutta smart and 
the FOSPAC 18th. They are much more economical. But what I have personally seen is the tips of this 18th getting deformed so quickly. And once the tip gets deformed, the unit starts showing something called as tip error. So the tips may have to be frequently changed. But still, the tips are much economical compared to Densply or Cybron Endo. Then comes uh, uh, one of the recent early introduced product, which is again a cordless downpack unit obturation pen from Woodpecker, Woodpecker called FIP. This device is also turned on with a switch, power switch. And then this has four different power settings. From 150 to 230 degree Celsius. This device has a switch which is not a 360 degree switch like what is present in Touch and Heat or Gutter Smart or the 18th. So ergonomically this may be little inferior compared to the other three. But still during clinical usage I did not find much difficulty as I will show in the upcoming demonstration. So the woodpecker uh, device also comes with four tips and here again we will be using the largest tip for single cone whereas the smaller tips will be used by people who do thermoplastic obturation. So these are the types of tips you can see both 18th and Densplay have a similar design for their tips whereas Cybron Endo or Coworker and woodpecker have similar tips and personally using all these things I find I found the Cybron Endo tips to be more durable and resistant to deformation followed by Densply and 18th to be the least resistant to deformation they are the ones which needs frequent tip changing so in this video let's see the usage of these three units both in an extracted teeth and on a patient. So this is woodpecker. The largest tip is used following placement of bioceramic sealer and then the hand plugger is just used to condense the GP at the orifice level. Then comes 18th Fast pack. The largest plugger is again used for the single cone shearing. Pretty effortlessly sheared. And then the plugger is used to condense the GP. Now comes the gutter smart from Densply. We are going to use only the obturation pen here. Again, the largest plugger is fitted into the unit. To be frank, I don't see any difference in their performance as far as extracted teeth is concerned. Now let's try it on a patient. So this is one of the most difficult areas to access. This is a 3.7. And I'm going to obturate the mesial canals here. You can see the confluence between these two canals. As I place the sealer in the mesial lingual canal, the sealer also fills the mesial buckle. So the GP is being placed in the mesial buckle now. So this is a dense plies unit in action. You can see it's slightly difficult to approach this area compared to the extractor teeth because it's a 
mandibular are 7 in a patient with a less mouth opening but still we managed to share the GP and then the GP is condensed with the help of a hand plugger. Now this is a premolar. So I am going to place the bioceramic sealer. You can see there is no communication between two canals when I place the sealer. So I am going to first use the woodpecker unit now for the palatal canal. And I was able to share it. They still see uh, some more GP excess in the pulp chamber. So I am going to go one more time with the unit. And this also performs well. Efficiently removes the GP. Add the orifice and whatever is excess into the pulp chamber, I am going to condense it with the help of my plugger. In the other canal, we are going to use Fosspack, that is 18th. And again, to be frank, unless I mention, I hope none of you would have found any difference between these two. They all perform equally well. There are also two other economical products which I have not personally used. But uh, I included in this because a couple of my friends who have been using it have given some positive reviews about it. One is the Waldent Obturation Pen which is further economical compared to a Woodpecker Obturation Pen. But this also lacks a 360 degree switch. And then another one which is even more cheaper uh, and this also does not have uh, 360 degrees switch but surprisingly both these uh, uh, both these friends who have been using these devices tell me that the accessories are easily available online so that is something to be noted and that's why I had mentioned uh, these products also so when we come to a conclusion about all these different products uh, which one do you want to buy before I recommend any particular product, I would want to tell you not to buy something called as GP cutter in the market because these are terribly economical but the design of the tips, take a look at this, these tips are designed in such a way that they cannot perform an efficient sharing of GP and they conk so quick. So please do not buy these GP cutters. I know a lot of friends who have bought this and found that this product is not useful and they don't work also. So what do you need to buy is something that I cannot advise. I only showed you a lot of different products in different ranges. It's almost like a, a, a watch. So it everything starting from 220 rupees we have products to 2 lakh rupees and every one of them will perform but it's up to the user to decide upon what they want out of the product if it is the premium feel or is it a slightly economical aspect to it is it the uh, the sales and service that is going to be available so just enquire with few of your friends who have been using a particular product not just about how the product feels in one or two uses but also about long term serviceability and availability of accessories and then you can decide on what suits you. So there are some clinical tips that I want to give you before we finish this video. Number one is irrespective of what system you use, you need to understand that the external root surface of the tooth should not increase in temperature by 10 degrees. That is any high increase in temperature when you overdo the thermoplastic technique or the shearing, it can cause injury to the periodontium. So make sure the temperature range you always begin with something low and if it's not sufficient you can increase and never exceed more than 200 degrees Celsius somewhere between 150 to 180 is something that is pretty safe and convenient and also do not extend the GP sharing or the down pack procedure for more than 10 seconds that is the maximum but try to keep it somewhere between 5 
to 8 seconds and if it needs further more down packing then give it a break allow the tooth to come back to its temperature and then you can repeat the procedure so overzealous thermoplastic uh, down pack can also cause deleterious effects to the pelagium and that is again a big advantage of the single cone bioceramic technique where you are only going to do it for a few seconds and just share the GP at the orifice and hope this video was useful and please give me your feedback and also I want people to recommend any other videos that you want us to do. Thank you so much and you can follow all our work on the social media platforms and people who are interested to learn more of endo can are welcome to our endo 360 workshop.